Son of a bitch. Alright, what is this? Um, maybe? Well, that's not very helpful. I mean, shit. Okay, uh, let's pay three. The cast the Abs and Beastmaster. Mm, okay, you gonna go for your Ferocious Trigger? Well, I can, can't I? Yep. Beginning of combat, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, pay, pay a red, return the Flameway Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield, and it has flying, haste, and must attack. Um, I actually can. And here's, I'm just gonna max out the pain this turn. Pay 2. I'm gonna dash out my Martyr Scout. Okay. It's a 3 1 with haste. I'm gonna enter combat. Start of combat, pay a red. Because I control a creature with power 4 or greater. Flamewick Phoenix rises from the ashes with flying in haste. They must attack each turn if able. And, um. Let me see. I'm going to attack with everybody except for the Ibs and Beastmaster. Nine damage. Okay. Uh, four, seven, yes, nine. Bringing me down to seven. Uh, Shockmaw Dragon Triggers. Each creature defending player controls that he hit takes one damage. Okay. That damage is just going to dissipate at the end of the turn. End of the turn, Mardu Scout goes back to my hand because I dashed him out. All right. Um, during your end phase, I'm going to spend three. Oh fuck! In order to cast Douse and Gloom on your Absent Beastmaster. Yep, and that's game because now I lack the creature I need in order to stop the next hit. Mm. Bring it, making it a nine-point game. Very nice. Mm. See, if I didn't get mana fucked, I would have won this game. Just for the record, but I definitely got. Mana fact. Mm. All right, so uh, I'm going to dash out because uh, I do have the four for it. One. Bring on the pain. Four. <laughs> my Mardu shirt. My 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 Mardu strike leader. Yeah, this this is a really powerful dash ability. Mm. And whenever he attacks, he gets into one uh, to one warrior token. Ha ha. Yep. Basically, meaning he replaces himself. So I'm at negative. Three and I lose the game. Good Yay! Game. Good Let's game, play Mr. again. Cloud. I actually did not think that you would do so well with only one color, but there you go. Black is a pretty <laughs> black is a pretty powerful color in this set. Specifically because of the Mardu tribe stuff. All right, on to game two. I may have misplayed early in the game because I think I was holding on to my destroy enchantment instant even while I had a chance to use it to take out your palace siege. Ooh. But I have a feeling that I am going to win this game because I think one ought to have that feeling going into a game in the competitive sense. I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to keep my hand too, although I probably shouldn't. I'm going to put down a mountain and end my turn. Alright. Whereas I... Hmm... I'm going to put down a swamp, and then I'm going to cast Typhoid Rats. Weird. Then I will end my turn. Mwah. I love Typhoid Rats. Typhoid Rats is a card that we should see more print printings of. It's a, it's a it's a fifteen cent card, dude. So I'm going to pay two to get my humble defector out. Your turn. Okay. Get that card advantage early. And don't kill him this time. Right, I'm going to put down a jungle hollow, uh, increase my life, and then I'm going to have to. See, you can't kill him this time. I ain't blocking that shit. <laughs> you keep your disease away from me. All right, I'll end. Come on, I need to make this a two. I need to make this. A, I need to bring this to round three. I'm going to put down a crucible of the spirit dragon. Okay. I'm going to pay one. Tap the crucible. Put a storage counter on it. All right. I am. Uh... Now remember, last time I was able to win because you gave me the humble defector for multiple turns. Oh, screw that shit, dude! I don't believe in that shit. Ooh, um, all right. Fucking no, because now I have to draw cards because I got the crucible out. Okay. So now I want to draw two cards. Hope I get my dragon. 
and then give control of him to you. Okay. Mm, no room. Ah, uh, ooh, that is not good for me. All right, gonna put down a swamp, and then I'm gonna swing at you for three. One, two, three. Mm. Um, yeah, I'll end. Fast and Furious. Rugged Highlands enters the battlefield tapped. I gain a life. Yep, yep. No, the storage counter on Crucible. Thinking. Yeah, I'm going to put another storage counter on the Crucible. Okay, then. Your turn. Mm, ah. Unfortunately, my top end is all here, which is bad for me. Alright, I'm going to swing at you for three. Down to 14. Mm, and, uh, I will end. But we are still here! <laughs> Thinking, thinking. Put down a mountain. You gotta cast a Tarka this turn. Thinking. Pay two. To cast a scroll of the masters. Ooh, alright. You know, you're not actually running the correct colors for that, right? Stop it. <laughs> I mean, you're probably right. Um, let me think now. Um, I'm going to pay... Two, in order to normal cast the Mardu Scout, so he does not go back to my hand at the end of the turn. Okay. Mm. Alright, so, I'm going to put down another Swamp, and then I'm going to spend five, in order to cast the Archfiend of Depravity. <laughs> <sighs> Only activates during the end step, huh? Mm -hmm. I can hang with that. Mm, Alright. And then I'm going to swing at you for three. Are you now? Well, I'm just going to have to take all that damage now, aren't I? All right. And uh, I'll end. Do, do, do. Okay. Let's put down a forest. Um, let us... Okay, so basically, so as, if I'm reading this right, the Archfiend of Depravity doesn't affect me because I only control two or fewer creatures right now. Well, you still have to select Mardu's Scout on, during resolution. I but still yeah. have to select the Scout, but as long as I select him, I, I don't have to sacrifice him. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um... So, let's put a... Let's put another storage counter on the crucible of the spirit dragon. Jeez. Still digging for that Atarka, huh? Dude, I I need the dragons in order to win the game. That's the whole fucking point. <laughs> and I'm just going to end my turn. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, I select the Mardu Scout so I don't have to sacrifice yeah. him during the end step. Mm, all right. I'm going to put down another swamp, and then for six... I'm going to cast on Tastic of the Golden Fang. Oh, this mother... I actually have this card. Uh -huh. mm. Don't worry, I'm never going to be able to trigger his uh, his actual activated ability. And I can't <laughs> cast him for cheap either, because I have nothing in my graveyard. Yeah. Maybe anyway. you should draw cards with your humble defector. No, I don't want, you to get, I want, don't want to give you another body. I want to be swinging with it, like this. Swing right. for uh, uh, eight. 
During the, uh, whatever step, I'm gonna pay four to cast with instant speed. Return to the Earth, targeting okay. the Archfiend of Depravity. Destroy target creature with flying. Alright. Mm. So, uh, during the blocking step, three. I'm going to elect, uh, and the Scroll of the Masters also gets a lore counter, because I casted a non-creature mm -hmm. spell. Um, I'm gonna take three. I'm gonna take three. Alright, then. And, uh, I will end. Come on, sweet bacon. I'm gonna put down a mountain. And cast bathe in dragon fire? Hmm. Cast the bathe in dragon fire, Mr. Cloud. I may have to I may have to go into an extra game in order to fully expound on what my deck was trying to go to, trying to do here. I think I played a little too fast and loose this game. Um, let's see what I can do in the interest of damage control. Um, so I have I have seven mana on the table, right? So well, I should, in theory, be able to do something with the four cards in my hand. Um, and you don't have any creatures with flying, either. That's true. I'm gonna pay three. three. Cast a Flame Wake Phoenix. Okay. I'm gonna pay another three. three. I'm gonna enchant my Flame Wake Phoenix with the Tenor Room Mark. Alright. So now it's a 4-4 four four with flying Trample, purple. because I control a red permanent. Base power and toughness are 4-4. Four, four. Increase power and toughness two times. Okay. And then the scroll gets another lore counter. Yep. I will swing into you with my four in the air. Alright, I'll take four. And the turn is yours. Okay, and then... Mm. Unfortunately, that is just another land. But, quite fortunately for me, I still happen to have... Let's see, yep, that's five. So I'm going to spend five to cast the Archfiend of Depravity. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spend another one to cast the Carsey High Priest. Mm -hmm. Alright. And, uh... I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to swing out for, uh... To do, mm -hmm. uh seven. I'm just going to take seven. Alright. Mm. Not eight, mm. Mr. Cloud. And, uh, I'll end... Come on, give me a dragon. Come on, I did the thing. Give me the fucking dragon. I can see the game. Extra game time. Alright. Mm. That was that that was stupid. That was really stupid. Because I didn't get my dragon. I didn't I got mana flooded. I got mana flooded. Like what the fuck? Come on. No. Mm. I will keep. No emotions here. No emotions here. We are here to be objective, and we are here to comment on... Okay, so let's review. The Humble Defector may help your opponent exploit an open field. There, I learned something. Let's play one more game. I elect to go first because I lost the last game, and let's see what happens. I'm going to keep this hand. All right. Are, are you all set, Mr. Gerdite? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna put it on a mountain and end my turn. Okay. See, if I got fucking cards like this, I might have had a chance. Alright, I'm gonna put down a swamp, and I'm gonna end. <sighs> put down a mountain, pay two to cast the Humble Defector, end turn. Alright. Hmm... Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna put down a swamp, and then I'm gonna spend two to cast the Soul Tie Emissary. More manifest. I'm gonna put down a Crucible of the Spirit Dragon. Pay one to put a storage counter on the Crucible. Tap the Humble Defector, draw two cards, and give control of it to my opponent. Ooh. Turn. 
You keep doing that. No, because I have an answer this time. Because I didn't fucking have an answer to my own humble defector last game. And that... That annoyed the shit out of me. <laughs> Hence, right. I'm talking excitedly with emotions that are going to make people upset. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put down a Scoured Barons in order to gain a life, and then I'm going to swing at you for three. And then I'm going to pay one to cast Wild Slash okay. to kill the Defector before it can deal damage to me. There, I completed the cycle. You still take one damage, Mr. Cloud. I take one damage from the unblocked Sultai Emissary, but not the three, and then the next three, and then the following three, and then the subsequent three, and then the and then the successive three afterwards. That cost me the game last turn. I, I did it. I'm going to put down a forest, pay one, put another storage counter on the Crucible of the Spirit Dragon. I have to keep ramping up if I'm ever going to see a dragon play. Um, okay. And then I am just going to end my turn. All right. 